Hello friends, welcome back to our tutorial, designing an impressive architectural building in Revit 2018 interior. If you did the previous exercise, go and open the file 00 underscore 009 underscore DIAB where you saved it. Or go and download this file. In the background, I had series of things in this file. For example, I add this two line for the draw and greet this door. So you can download this file and add or open your file and add this item and follow along. Now I'm go to the quick access toolbar and click the save as icon. This will bring the save drawing as dialog box. Now look to the file of type. If you are using AutoCAD 2018 or you don't expect to open this file in any other system that used the previous version of AutoCAD is okay. But if you plan to open this file in any earlier version of AutoCAD, go and change the file of type and select any of the earlier version of AutoCAD you want to use the file in. I'm going to select the AutoCAD 2007. You can select whatever version or you leave it as it is it if you are using AutoCAD 2018. Rename this file to 00 underscore 010 underscore DIAB and click the save button. So now we're going to copy this plan and create another plan for the first floor. But before we do, let's create a reference line. To create a reference line, I need to create a layer so that I can draw all my temporal line into that layer. Now I'll go to the home tab, layer panel and click the layer properties. Click the new layer button. Rename this layer to something like cabbage. And give it a color. I'm going to give mine a red color. You can give whatever color that you want. Now expand the layer properties manager. And expand this color. Set the plottable state of this layer to non plottable. When you click the printer's icon, you see the international no sign against the printer. Any layer that you set it to a non-plottable, that the object on that layer will not be plotted during the plotting. So this way, even if you draw a temporal line, you forget to erase it. AutoCAD will not be to plot that object. Click OK to close the dialog box. Now go to the home tab, layer panel, and click the down arrow. Select the cabbage layer to make it the current layer. Now go to the home tab, draw panel, and click the down arrow after the draw, the word draw, and click the push pin button. If I don't click the push pin button, if I select any command, then I move out of the panel, the panel collapse. So if you want to use the panel for a few minutes, all you need to do, just click the push pin. When the push pin, when you click the push pin, the panel will stay expanded expanded when you finish what you want to do you can click the push pin again so that the panel collapses to its original location now I'll select the construction line at the specified starting point point type 0 comma 0 and press enter this will allow you to start the construction line at the origin of the at the origin of the drawing now hold down your shift key or turn on the auto mode by pressing the F8 key or click the auto button on the status bar move the line at the vertical direction to draw a vertical line press enter to get out of the corner so i want to measure the distance from the extreme end point of this plan to the construction line that i just drew to do that go to the home tab utility panel and click the distance command at the prompt specify first point of the distance, zoom in into this area and use the midpoint object snap and click. At the prompt specify second point or multiple point prompt, move the mouse cursor to the left and use the perpendicular object snap. As you can see, the distance from that point to the reference line is 42 feet 6 inches. 
Now I'll press escape to get out of the distance from me. So I'm going to offset this line 60 inches. That way I can move this, I can copy this plan to a new location and modify it to create the first work plan. So go to the home tab, modify panel and click the offset command. At the prompt specify offset distance, type 60 feet on your keyboard and press enter. Now I select the construction line that you just drew and move to the right and click. Press escape to get out of the command. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the copy command. Select the entire drawing, press enter. At the prompt specifying this point prompt, type 0, 0 and press enter. This way you use the origin of the drawing as the base point. At the prompt specify second point or array, move the mouse cursor and use the perpendicular object snap or the midpoint object snap and click. Press escape to get out of the command. Now I'll press the push pin to collapse the draw panel. Select the two construction lines that you just draw and erase them. We have two different planners in the drawing, the first floor, the ground floor plan and the first floor plan. Before we start to modify them, we need to set the view. So, go to the navigation bar and click the zoom window button. If the zoom window is not displayed, click the down arrow and select zoom window. Now, click to place a window and click the opposite direction. Go to the view control at the top left corner of the drawing and click the current view control which is the top this will bring the a view menu of all the views the preset views that comes with autocad in this case we want to create our view so go to the view manager to open the view manager dialog box in the view manager we are going to create a new view so click the new button when you do autocad bring another dialog box the new view or shoot properties dialog box. Rename this view ground floor and first floor plan. The display will leave it as the current display. You can use this option. If you select this option, AutoCAD will turn into the drawing to define a new window. So if you use the current display, AutoCAD use the current display. So let's use this option so that you can see what I mean. This is a default area that AutoCAD defined. You can define a new area. Now I'm going to click at the prompt specify first corner, I'm going to click in this area. Then, at specifying opposite corner, I'm going to click this area. When I click the opposite corner, I'm going to press enter to accept the window that I define. Again, you have other options in this dialog box, but I don't want to waste time on this dialog box for the moment. We'll learn more about this dialog box in upcoming tutorial. Now, click OK to close the dialog box and if now i click ok the previous state of the dis the previous display of the drawing will remain but if i click apply autocad automatically applied the custom window that i just created click ok to return to your drawing now if you click this view control then you see now the custom model view is highlighted so if you want to select this view all you need to do just click then AutoCAD zoom to the extent of this view. As you can see, the current view is now grand and first floor plan. Now you can click and shoot to the top view and return to the view where it was before we activate the custom view. Now I'll zoom out to see the entire drawing. Again, let's create another view. Now go to the view controller and click the current view, which is the top, and select the view manager. This will open the view manager. Click the new button to create a new view. Rename re this view ground floor plan. Click the define window button. Now at the prompt specify first corner, click into this area. Then click this area for the opposite corner. Press enter to accept the window that you just defined. Click OK to get out of the command and click OK to return to your drawing. Go to the view again and click the top view, view manager, then click new. Name this view first floor plan.
define window and click click the opposite press enter to accept click ok click apply ok now go to the view control and click select the custom view as you can see now we have three custom views so click the ground and first floor plan this display all all of the two plan then click the same button again and select the ground floor plan this display only the ground floor plan then go and click the first floor plan this display only the first floor plan but in this case i want to display only i don't want to see the first floor plan the ground floor plan when i display the first floor plan and i don't want to see the first floor plan when i i display the ground floor plan vice versa to do that i need to see this plan a little bit but before i do i'm going to draw a reference line so that i can have a clue how far this plan need to be apart now click any side around this area and place draw a temporal line you go to the view control again and click follow the custom and select first of first floor plan now i need this guy to get out of this view again i'm going to draw another reference and press escape to get out of the command zoom out and select the the first floor plan deselect the temporal line you just draw but before you do try to know the distance between this line and the reference to this building because I don't want to have unusual measurements so I'm going to select this line and use the grip and extend the line to the top press escape now I'm going to the home tab utility panel and select the distance command at the specified first point select the midpoint of this line and try to reference this line to this line you see the distance is 44 feet 1 13 16 I don't want this I'm going to round this distance to 50 feet so go to the home tab draw panel and select the construction line command at the prompt specify first point or how var and bisect offset let's enter O for the offset option and press enter AutoCAD ask you to enter an offset distance type 50 feet on your keyboard and press enter now select this line then AutoCAD ask you to specify the side of the side of the offset it means where you want to play the offset object now I move into the right and click as you can see AutoCAD plays the construction line now select the first floor plan and use the move tree to move it to the right at the specify base point point use this as the base point now move the line when you see the perpendicular objects now click so the first floor move away from the ground floor plan now let's go to the top and display the ground floor plan you see the first floor plan is going out of the way let's go and display the first floor plan the ground floor plan is still displayed because we have moved the plan but we have not yet updated the first floor plan now to update this first floor plan go to the navigation bar and click the pan button pan a little bit to the left and escape now go to the view control and click custom view select the first floor plan and select the end edit boundary button this will allow us to select a new boundary as you can see the black area is the current boundary the original boundary now we can define a new boundary to define a new boundary all you need to do click to click to opposite corner i'm going to click here for the first point then click here for the second point now the boundary is being pre move to a new position press enter and click apply click ok to return to your drawing now if you go to the top and select custom view first floor plan the ground floor plan is out of the way i'm going to the top again and select the ground floor plan 
the first floor plan is out of the way. But if I want to see both of them, I'm going to select the ground floor and first floor plan. Both of them are displayed. Again, this needs to update a little bit because I have moved this draw into the to the right. So I need to update this plan so that I can see both of the drawing when I select this view. So now all I need to do, I'm going to click this view control and select view manager. Then I'm going to look for the ground and first floor plan and select edit boundaries. As you can see, AutoCAD displayed the current boundaries. I need to include this file. So now I'm going to click into this area as the first corner, then click this as the opposite corner. Press enter then apply and apply and click ok now i'm going to the top and select the custom plan first floor plan then ground floor plan then ground and first floor plan you see my drawing is now my view is now updated in this tutorial, you learn how to send custom view, how to edit the custom view boundary, how to restore a custom view. In the next tutorial, we're going to start to modify the plan that we copy to update it to the first point now. If you find this tutorial useful, please share it to your colleague. And if you have any question or you want a specific tutorial or any comments, please leave a comment below. If you want to follow along in this channel, please subscribe for upcoming tutorial. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.